What's going on everybody, it's the IT guy here again. In this video I'll be showing you how you can disable the automatic driver installer in um, Windows 10. So first of all you'll need to go over to start menu and then type in system. Go over to system and then click on advanced system settings and then go over to hardware and then go over to device installation settings and then you can select no and save the changes and I click OK. And what this will do is actually whenever you install a new driver, so uh, do keep in mind that this is for every single piece of hardware you plug into your computer. So if the drivers are already installed, so let's go back here. Let's go back and see what it actually says. So you need to really keep this in mind because it's pretty important. Um, so what this actually does is whenever the drivers for the specific device are already installed on the computer, there will be no problem at all. You will just plug it in and it will work. But whenever you install something that uh, has no built-in driver in Windows, normally what would happen is that Windows 10 will automatically download the driver from the Windows Update repositories or from the Win Windows uh, Update um, servers, excuse me, repositories is a, is a word that's uh, more used in the Linux uh, in the Linux world. But uh, so like I said from the Windows update uh, servers and this will no longer happen. So whenever you plug in a device, whether it's like a webcam or maybe a printer or anything like that, uh, this will not only affect your 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 hardware like um, a video card or a sound card not only the internal components but also external hardware like I said printers uh, webcams if the drivers are not by default included in Windows 10 it will not search for those drivers online anymore and you will need to provide the drivers from the manufacturers website which is by the way in my own honest opinion better because sometimes uh, when you install something like a printer and it has like an all-in-one function then the scanner so there's after there are like these scan buttons on the printer itself and those often will not work so whenever you this is just an example I'm giving whenever you were for example have a printer and the printer will have also a scanner built in and you want to scan from the printer instead of using the Windows scan app. Uh, for example, sometimes the scan button on the printer doesn't work without the manufacturer's driver. So that's, this is actually a good thing. This allows you to um, always use the right drivers from the manufacturer's website instead of using these universal drivers for uh, Windows 10, which do work, but they don't always give you the full functionality of the devices. Uh, of the device itself. So yeah, this is basically just uh, a little bit, a little bit of a longer video than you actually needed, but this is just a little bit of extra info I want to give you about um, the uh, installation of, uh, of, of aut the automatic installation of drivers. It's not always a good thing, you know. Windows installs its drivers automatically, but like I said, it's not always a good thing. So for some people, it's better to disable it and if you're a little bit tech savvy and you know a thing or two about installing your drivers yourself you're better off doing it that way because installing the drivers from the manufacturer website gives you a little bit more functionality so yeah this was me just showing you how to disable that thing uh, I hope you liked it I hope you um, I hope you got something out of this video and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and I will see you in the next video bye bye